In this exercise, we will ask the length of three sides of a triangle from a user and calculate the area of that triangle. So let's get started. First, let's create a function that will calculate the area. Let's say side A, side B, side C. So as you can see in the formula here, it's side multiplied by side minus A. It's not side, sorry. It's same parameter. So this is the formula here where S is the same parameter and this period is multiplication. So first let's calculate same parameter. So what is same parameter? Same parameter is uh, simply the sum of all sides divided by 2. So let's just do that. So we have our same parameter ready and now we just need to calculate this and I think I missed the square root. It's actually square root of this. Okay, so let's first calculate this and it is let's say area squared if area squared is semi parameter and it multiplies parameter minus side a and let me copy this so i can do this quicker side b and finally side C. Now we just need to find the square root of this and we have our area. So we can just do return and let's import math because math in Python has a square root function. So we'll return math dot square root of area squared. So we have our function ready. Now let's take input from users. Side A becomes input. Now I'm using side A here, side underscore A here because uh, no, don't be confused, these are two different stuff. But even if I use side A here, it's the same thing. It will not matter because these are just variables that has a scope inside this function. So this side A and this side A will be different. So uh, let's take input and let's call enter side 1, enter length of side 1. With this and then the user in, user input stuff will be saved in this and then this then this let's change this side b side c side three side two and once we have all these three things we can what what can we do we can say area equals to calculate area side a comma side B comma side C. Now, one thing is, if you try to run this, there will be an error. All right, so let me just complete the code and let's see. The area is what is the area? It's calculated here, right? So it's area. Now this is f strings, and when we run this, this area will be replaced by the actual value that is calculated here. So let's try to run this and let's see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's enter four, five, six. Now, as you can see, we have an error that says unsupported operand type for string and integer. Because we are doing addition here, right? We cannot add strings. So whatever the user has entered here will be string and it is considered string. So we need to convert four, five, six to integer. How can we do that? Just add int here. We are now done. Let's run this again. Let's say length of side one is five, length of side two is six, length of side three is nine, and the area is 28.28. So this is how you can calculate the area of a triangle. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.